Hey guys, so we're going to be looking at the energy equation worksheet. This is intended to help you uh, work these problems, just give you a visual uh, for some of those. So we'll start and we'll look at number one. It says Tom wants to lose 10 pounds in three months. All right, so we'll wrap that up here. That's his goal. 10 pounds in three months. We can also think about three months as 90 days. Okay. And so his current diet exercise plan has him taking in 1,800 calories. We'll write that down. That's in. So that's what he's eating. Okay. And it also says that he is burning 2,000 calories per day. So to make life easy, we're going to always put the larger number on top. This is out. Okay. And then we'll have to do a little math here. Um, so it asks us, after three months, will he meet his goal? Well, we don't know that yet. We've got to determine, does he have... Uh, excess per day or does he have a deficit okay and if he's got more going out than going in then he's gonna have a deficit well how big well we just do a little subtraction he's got a 200 calorie deficit each day so this means we'll put the minus there to let you know that's a deficit and this means that he is going to lose weight okay anytime we have a deficit we're gonna lose weight and anytime we have excess we're gonna gain weight and again it asks us after three months will we meet his goal well we've got to do a little math and I said three months, the easy way to look at that is 90 days. So we take the 200 and we're going to multiply it by 90. So feel free to use a calculator. Uh, 200 calories deficit per day. We multiply that by 90 days. That gives us 18,000 calories. So he's going to have an 18,000 calorie deficit over the course of 90 days. Well, that still doesn't help us to know did he reach his goal of 10 pounds in three months. So what do we have to know here? It's crucial that we have to know that 3,500 calories equals one pound of body weight. Okay, you have to remember that. And so we're gonna bring that 3,500 down here, and we know that's one pound. Well, how many times does 3,500 go into 18,000? That's gonna give us our answer. So 3,500 into 18,000 is 5.14 pounds. That's what it tells us. It tells us that over the course of 90 days, Tom, has lost 5.4 pounds. So we come back to the original question, and the original question is, after three months, did Tom meet his goal? Well, his goal was 10 pounds. He lost 5.14 pounds, so no, he didn't meet his goal. And it even asks us, well, how much weight did he specifically lose? And the answer to that is 5.14 pounds. So let's look at one more type of problem on here. We need to leave that 3,500 up. But this is just the same problem worked a little different way. We'll look at number four. It says Ruth desires to lose 10 pounds in 10 weeks. So she wants to lose 10 pounds in 10 weeks. Okay. So how many calories are equivalent to 10 pounds? Well, again, we've got to know 3,500 is equal to one pound. So 3,500 times 10 is what? Well, we just add the zero, right? And that's going to give us 35,000. So 35,000 calories equals 10 pounds, okay? So we know that Ruth is going to have to have a 35,000 calorie deficit over the course of 10 weeks. Well, it says what would her calorie deficit have to average per week in order for her to reach her goal? So in other words, every week, how many calories is she going to have to be de a deficit in in order to reach her goal after 10 weeks? So we just look at that, we're going to take 35,000, again, we'll divide it by the 10 weeks. That's this is a simple problem because it's going to bring us right back to where we started. 3,500 calories, okay, is what she's going to have to be de have a deficit of over the course of one week. We could even take that even further if we wanted to go, well, what does that mean for a day? Like, what does Ruth have to average per day in order to hit her target? Well, if that's a week, we can divide that by seven, and that's going to take me to 500 calories. So... Ruth's going to have to have a deficit of 500 calories a day, whether that's through diet, whether that's through exercise, or whether that's through a combination of both. And like we talked in the lecture, the combination of both is the preferred method. And so the answer, again, it asks us, if she wants to lose 10 pounds in 10 weeks, how many calories are equivalent to 10 pounds? Well, that's 35,000, right? Because we took the 3,500, which is one pound, and just multiplied it by 10. All right, and what would her calorie deficit have to average per week in order for her to reach her goal? Well, we know in the whole 10 weeks, it's, she's got to have a deficit of 35,000. So we just divide that by 10, it takes it down to on a weekly basis, and that is 3,500 per week. And then we took it just for fun, even down further, and that would be per day. 
okay? And then the only other thing that I want to show you, just because it's going to be on the test, but it's not very difficult, is body mass index. So one way to, to kind of uh, evaluate your body composition, okay? Or in other words, are you at a healthy weight? Uh, and actually, they did that in class right before we left. They took your BMI. Well, what does that mean? Well, BMI is real simple. And all you have to do, and I'll just work mine. What you're going to have to do on the test is work your BMI, okay? And so it's going to ask you for body mass index. The first step, okay, is going to be take your weight. And so I'll say 165. And it's going to ask you to multiply that by 703, okay? And I know that's a weird number, but that's just the formula. So 165 times 703 is going to be 115, 115,995, okay? And remember that number, we'll come back to it. The second step is take your height in inches and square it. So I am 5'8", so 5 times 12, because there's 12 inches in a foot, is 60. And I add the other 8 inches, which we'll put that on here, 5 foot, 8 inches. That is equivalent to 68 inches, all right? But we have to square that. So what's 68 squared? It's just 68 times 68. And that's going to be 4,624. Okay? And then step three is we're going to take answer number one and divide it by answer number two. So 115,995, okay? Answer for number one. And divide it by answer for number two, which was 4,624. And that's going to equal our BMI. So 115. 995 divided by 4,624 equals 25.08. Okay, so that would be my own personal BMI. And you can go back in the lecture in the notes and it shows you a scale of how they evaluate what this score means. And so on your test, I just want you to be able to work your BMI and uh, you'll have these steps. You just have to do these steps in order in order to get what is your BMI? So again, if you have any questions on either one of those worksheet or the concept of BMI, feel free to shoot me an email, text message, and I'll do what I can to help you out.